Greetings, radio people. Welcome back to The Shack. When fellow radio geeks come around to play, they always comment on how low noise my RX is on the low bands. By low bands, I mean 80, 60, 40 and 30 metres. I've got two trap dipoles for those bands. One covers 80 and 60 and a second covers 40 and 30. A while ago, I was suffering, like most of us in suburbia, with terribly high noise levels on the low bands. And I made two significant changes which reduced the noise significantly. I thought you might like to see what those changes were, so this video I'm going to share them with you. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up. I'd very much appreciate your support. So the first question we have to ask ourselves is, where's all this noise coming from? The answer to that question is fairly simple. Every time in our modern lifestyles we plug something else into the mains, we're adding probably yet another switch mode power supply to our house or our neighbours or people down the road or Fred in the farm across the way there. So the noise in the mains is horrendous. Every power supply that's using switch mode technology is chopping and switching loads on the mains. It's bound to and inevitably going to lead to a lot of noise. There's also so tons and tons of this noise around us in the air outside. We can't avoid picking up the signals that we want on the antenna, but anything else that gets picked up by the feeder is what we really need to think about. When I started looking at improving the feeders that I was using, the first thing I tried was to add balance to the dipoles. Now, as soon as you add a dipole with a ballon in the centre up in the sky, it's very, very difficult because of the weight. The ballons are heavy, especially if they're rated for some power. They start swinging around in the wind, they start snapping, wires start breaking, and the whole thing turns into a complete and utter nightmare. I didn't like the idea of using a balance, so I moved very quickly to the idea of using a balanced feeder. Now the stuff in the bottom you can see here with all these plastic spaces, I bought this as a kit of parts from Friedrichshafen. I can then make my own 600 ohm impedance feeder. I also bought some 450 ohm pre-made stuff from my local ham shop. But what I very quickly realised is what all the books were telling me is that the centre impedance of an antenna of, a, of an end of a centre fed dipole is around 73 ohms. So as soon as I've got a 600 ohm feeder or a 450 ohm home feeder, I need a ballon again. It's all completely nuts. <laughs> So on my travels, I found Spectrum Communications. They're based down in Dorset somewhere. And they stock some very thin, very nifty, 100 ohm balanced feeder. This stuff is no thicker than RG58, so the thin coax that we're all familiar with. It's equally as flexible. You can bend it around your hedge and your tree and around your conservatory and all the things you need to do with coax. But it's a balanced feeder. So I've run that stuff all the way from the centre of the dipole, right the way back to the shack where I've then simply used a one-to-one -one ballon and a very very small length of coax to the radio. This is what the centre of the dipole looks like. I'm sure you can appreciate it's not normally up against a fence post. I've just wedged it there for the purposes of photographing it. But you can see what the cable is like. There are two fairly stiff centre con conductors in this cable that feed directly to the wires of the antenna. That cable, that twin cable, then goes all the way back to the shack. On the right hand side you can see one of the traps. I've just tried to take a photograph so you can see what the antennas look like. And then the second trick is to filter all the muck out of the mains. Head over to GM3SEK's website. I'll include a link down below. Buy the bits and build one of these filters. Don't worry about the expense. It'll be the best thing you've ever invested in. These two changes that I made have made a dramatic, and I mean dramatic, change to the receive noise on my low bands. Do it.